the breaking through event in Call of Dragons is going to bring you and your alliance some amazing rewards. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the best tips and tricks on how to do this event successfully to give your alliance the best fighting chance at getting some of the best reward. Now, as you can see here, there is quite a few different difficulty in this event that you can do and will give you more rewards as you progress in higher difficulties, as well as it will be based off of your personal score. So your contribution in this event will make it so that you can unlock the rewards. It is quite easy to get the max contribution by just participating normally. Also, this event will give rewards to your entire alliance if you place in the top 20. Obviously, the higher you rank, the more rewards your alliance will get. Now, this event works by basically escorting Caravan through the zone that you will spawn it. So basically, you can spawn into your alliance fortress or basically a city of uh, one of your members. And many monsters will spawn during this event. You can see here, there is a list of all the different monsters that will spawn. Basically, some of the monsters will have different attack habits, as you can see written here at the top. Basically, meaning that they will either attack your troops or will try and attack the caravan. Now, in order to get the highest score possible, you will need your caravan to take the least amount of damage possible. So it is very important that you guys focus some of these monsters so that you do not let your caravan take any damage as much as possible, at least. You can do this event three different times in this period, basically meaning that you can do all the first three difficulties or you can try for the last difficulty that you can beat over and over again until you have the highest score possible so that you can rank higher in the alliance placement. But of course, the alliance that does the hardest difficulty with the least damage taken will be number one for the event rewards. Now, in order to prepare for this event, I'm going to give you some crucial tips here that will make quite a big difference, especially as you get to the higher difficulties. The first two difficulties are quite easy, but afterwards it becomes quite a bit harder. Now, one of my first tip will be that most people should be bringing ranged units, marksmen and mages, of course, but you should still have quite a decent amount of people doing melee because it will be very important for some of your melees to be able to block or taunt enemy units so that they do not reach your caravan. Now, in order to be able to do this successfully, you will need the artifact Harlequin Mask, which is an artifact that allows you to taunt a selected legion, meaning that you will be forcing one of the enemies to attack the march that you have. So your melee must have this equipped, especially cavalry units who can walk around fast and go to units that are getting close to your caravan and taunt them before they attack your caravan. This is really the key in order to get your caravan not to take any damage if you want to be number one alliance in this event. Now, of course, another tip here is peacekeeping. This is actually something that works. Unlike Behemoth, peacekeeping bonus work because these are darklings and dark creatures. So peacekeeping heroes with the peacekeeping talents, as well as uh, peacekeeping skills, as well as peacekeeping artifacts that give peacekeeping damage bonus and give buff against peacekeeping units. Uh, all work very, very well here and must be brought by as many people as possible. Now, of course, if you don't have the legendary version, you can also use the one like this, which uh, the artifact is uh, quite amazing, does a lot of AoE damage, as well as basically provides some bonus for your magic units, which most people will be bringing. And there's quite a few peacekeeping artifacts in this game for every unit type. So, of course, anything that has peacekeeping damage against dark enemies is going to be good here and must be brought for the best results. Now, another very interesting tip here is going to be related to marksmen. Now, when you're bringing marksmen unit, I can show you here, you'll see that there is a buff that marksmen unit get when they do not move. They do 10% more damage as long as they don't move for four seconds. Now, this is very, very strong because you will be able to use your ballista unit and stand on top of like the caravan or close to it. And then just from there, attack enemies that come into range. So this is something that I recommend doing for people who are marksman unit as it will bring quite a big deal of extra damage for these members. Of course, if you have to move to chase a unit, it's not a big deal, but it's something that can help. Now, during this event, there will be quite a lot of creatures that will spawn, as I mentioned a bit earlier. Now, there is going to be a lot of little darkling patrols, which are just small mobs that will go towards the caravan. Most of them will be uh, interrupted if they walk into one of your marches and will stop moving and will attack your march, which is fine. Those are really easy to kill with AoE abilities and AoE damage and don't require to be taunted. 
Uh, but there are also some mobs you can see that have a little different icon. These mobs will try and focus the caravan. These will ignore your troops, walk by them, and try and go to the caravan. So these are the ones that you will need to focus on with the Harlequin mask by taunting them. But also, you need to kill them as soon as possible because they will eventually reach a caravan. And in the later levels, they will be tanky. So you will need as many players as possible to take care of these. And you must not let them reach anywhere near a caravan if you are going to get a high score in this event. Lastly, there are some ranged units such as healers and casters. Uh, some of the lizards are casters as well as some of the big trolls with staffs. Uh, those are healers. Now, those are also a very, very high priority. You must kill them because they heal, of course, meaning that they will heal the mobs going to your caravan. And if you are not killing them fast enough, well, the mob going to your caravan will also not die. And it will really make it so that you will take a lot of damage. So the priority is really the healers and casters and then the second priority will be any mob going directly to your caravan with a different icon and the last priority will be the darkling patrols the regular mobs the one that are quite weak and spawn in very high number it is still a priority to kill them of course but not the highest priority so as you can see in this event it's quite straightforward you just walk and escort the caravan now you can see at the top of the screen, there is a line which shows you the progress and every purple like little sword icon basically means that the caravan will get attacked. And when it does, the caravan will go slower or even sometimes stop moving and you will just have to clear out all the mobs before you can progress any further. Now in some events, it will just keep moving through. So it's not gonna be uh, something you have a lot of time to do. You must keep up with the caravan. As you can see, sometimes, you know, we're fighting, we're fighting and then the caravan just keeps moving and keep moving as opposed to some of the times where it will stop moving i think those like the bigger daggers is when it stops moving and the small daggers is basically it just ignores everything so it's important that everybody really spread out around the caravan as well as have all the melee guys be very far away so they can taunt the mobs as far as possible so that it gives the most time for you guys to kill them and of course you know the most skills you can do to buff your allies on as many players as possible and as well as using the right kind of like damage items on the enemies so that they you know take damage in AoE and such like that is going to be all things that are very important to make you succeed. Now, another thing that's important to mention here is, of course, the heroes that people choose. Um, it is always going to be best to choose the heroes that have AoE abilities. So, of course, you see a lot of Waldir and Lilia as they are the mages with tons of AoE. Uh, Velen also works, of course. And there are also control tree heroes, which will provide a lot of slows. So that could be very good to bring. And marksmen, of course, they provide a lot of damage. So those are very good. Infantry are quite slow uh, to move and to walk. So I would really recommend that you have more cavalry uh, than infantry because you don't really need to tank anything. You really just need to have taunters. So cavalry with the taunting equipment is going to be very important here. And of course, there's not a ton of choice for cavalry. So really anything you have is fine here. As long as you uh, are able to have a big enough troop, which is again, one of the other thing here that's very important is having a high enough troop size is going to be quite important here meaning that you want to have as many troops as possible in your march so that you do as much damage as possible now the way to do this is quite simple of course the higher the level of your hero the more troop he can bring so it's about 500 legion per level so at level 41 i can bring 12,500 legion on my wall there so every level i'm going to get 500 more and as well, if you go into your uh, policies, the notice board, you will see here that there are some very important ones, Legion capacity, they're called military expansion. So with this one, I'm getting 8,000 more Legion capacity. Now with this one, I'm getting 13,000. And then the last one, I am getting uh, 5,000 so far and eventually 20,000. So these are going to be the ones that are very important because you want to be able to field a full march of troop in order to really beat all of these events this includes the event the caravan but also includes the behemoth fight and other events because they are going to need a lot of troops to fight in order to beat them fast enough now as i said when you reach the bigger dagger icon there's two of them and the middle and the last pack of mob this will mean that some very strong monsters are spawning so additional monsters that have quite a bit of hp or can do quite a bit of damage and you can see some of the yellow dagger ones they're just literally just going straight to the caravan they don't care about you guys at all and these are going to be the priority because not only are they stronger uh, but they're also going to cause a lot of damage to your caravan and you can see uh, earlier in the video when i showed the leaderboard the alliance that has number one spot they basically took like less than one percent damage on their caravan so if you take a little bit of damage you instantly 
can lose your spot as the alliance and not get the max rewards. So it is very a thing where you really don't have any room for error when you're trying to compete at the highest level. Of course, if you're not trying to compete at this high level, it really is not as much of a big deal, but the same concept applies in order to really just succeed the event. So that's about it for this event, guys. Of course, this is quite good. You have three chances to do this event, so that means that you can get uh, three different uh, Season 1 tokens for your heroes, as well as depending on where Alliance will place, uh, you will be able to get, you know, one or two more, or, you know, three if you're the number one, as well as a few keys and some speed-ups. They're not massive events, but, you know, because you can do this event quite a few times, uh, it will get better and better. And you can see the higher the level that you do, the better the rewards will be. So when we get to the last levels, you'll get, you know, a little bit better rewards. And of course, all these rewards are going to be, you know, meaningful in the long run, especially because it takes basically five minutes to do it per try. Now, if you do a try and you fail it, you will not consume your draw. So your draws are only consumed if you uh, succeed it. So you can try basically uh, the harder levels and keep failing and then can decide to instead just go back to the lower level that you can actually clear if you are not able to do so, which is basically what we're doing. We're keeping one of our draws to do uh, a higher difficulty, uh, but we're going to wait uh, for a plan in the future because we still have a full day before we have to do so. And the longer you wait, the better because the more troops and the more uh, people can be available and the more planned they can be. So that's kind of why we're doing that. So guys, as always, if you have any question about this event, make sure to ask down below. Uh, very similar to the Silk Road event in Rise of Kingdoms. So it's something that many of us have done hundreds of times. Uh, but for those of you who are new to this game or the genre, of course, uh, just make sure to read up on what the event does and we'll be happy to answer anyone's question uh, or give any tips if needed. Uh, as always, make sure to check out my other Call of Dragons guide uh, for hero leveling, uh, different guides on tips and mistakes to avoid, to power up quickly and early, as well as some info about some of the heroes and many more guides coming up in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.